Hey guys, it's Cookie from Pants Off Gaming Channel, and I'm here to tell you guys about how to add sound bites using either the Streamlabs chatbot or the Stream Element Store Redemptions. Here we go. So, first, you're going to want to make sure you have Streamlabs chatbot downloaded. Um, you can get that from the Streamlabs website, and make sure that you're using Streamlabs OBS when you're using Streamlabs chatbot, otherwise it won't work. Um, you're going to have to connect it to your stream, all of that stuff. Uh, if you guys want a video on that specifically, just let me know in the comments and I can get one made for you guys. Alright, when you're going and making uh, sound files, an easy thing to do is just Google something, get it from the internet. So, say you want a sound bite for the Gotham sound. Google Gotham, download it, whatever. Um, I have a file specifically labeled sounds, and that makes it a lot easier to keep everything in one space and find everything that I need for these sound bites. So to actually implement it, on the side here, you're going to go to sound files. You're going to name it. We'll name this one milk. Um, there's different things you can do. So you can do votes. Uh, I like to just make make it zero. That way, whoever wants to do it can just do it themselves and not have to worry about voting or anything like that. You can adjust the volume because obviously some sound bites are going to be louder, some sound bites are going to be quieter, uh, but that's something that you kind of figure out during stream because you're not going to hear what it sounds like until someone puts the command and does it on stream. So just leave it at 100 and go from there. Then you're going to go to the sound file, pick like I said, I have a folder specifically for sounds. We're going to go ahead and do the milk one. Double click it. And then it doesn't look obvious, but what you're going to want to do now is automatically generate command. So you can set permissions, uh, regular, VIP exclusive, etc. I like to do specifically subs for my sound bites. Gives them something else fun that they can do and kind of an incentive for being a sub. Now this cost is how many points does it use to use the soundbite. So say you're not doing subs, say you're doing everybody, then you can make it so that people have to use points that they accumulate while watching stream to use these commands. But since I have it for subs, I set the cost as zero, usage, stream chat. And these are going to be pretty useful too. So obviously if you have sound bites, people are going to want to use them a lot. So, you can set cooldowns for them. This is a global cooldown. Um, it starts out at one minute. And then there's a user cooldown. These are specific to the sound bites. So this is going to be for the milk command. So a global cooldown of one minute, user cooldown of zero. I like to set a user cooldown and not a global cooldown. That way one person can't just spam a sound bite, but if someone else wanted to use it, they can. Uh, then you're going to click Submit. Then you're going to see it in a list of sound files that you have. And you can see I have kind of a lot. And if you ever want to edit them, you click it, click the little pencil, and there you go. You can change the volume, you can change who gets to use it, the cost, cooldowns, etc. And that's it for the Streamlabs chatbot. Next, I'm going to show you how to do it in stream elements. So this one's quite a bit different and the commands are going to be different. And I'll talk to you about the commands at the end um, for implementing it and the viewers using it in stream. So here, there's a lot you can do on stream elements, but this one, you have to do it in the store. So you're going to go to the side, stream store, and then you'll see redemptions that people can do that you can set up uh, to use during stream. So the way that you do this, you're going to go to create a new item. Make sure you have sound effects activated as what the item type is. Name it. This one we're going to name crickets. You can put a description, but I don't think that's really necessary for sounds. Again, you have cooldown. So global cooldown, user cooldown, and item cost set to zero. This is going to be negative one for sound bites unless you only want people to use it a certain amount of time. But negative one is unlimited amount. Click next. You're going to upload the sound. Like I said, I have a 
file for everything, but when you upload files into stream elements, it keeps them there. So you can go here, put in a sound, and boom, it's there. And you can just access it at any time, use it for your alerts, sound bites, etc. So the one that I'm using is called Crickets. Submit. There you go. You have the volume. It starts at 50. Again, you just kind of have to play by ear, adjust it as you go in stream. Um, redeemable via chat is going to be very important. This means that they can do a command to do it in chat instead of having to go to your store and redeem it that way. And again, I do subscriber only. And then the item name is the name of the command. So make it something simple, like this is just crickets. Um, next, you can set up additional requirements. So do they need to put their home address, email, etc.? Probably not, but that's what this is for. And then save and easy peasy. And then you can see everything that people can redeem from your store. These are a bunch of sounds in my store. So now maybe you're wondering, how in the heck do people even redeem these sound bites that I've set up? It's not that hard. Either one of them are pretty easy. So the way that viewers will redeem these sound bites that you have set up for them, um, it's different if you're using chatbot or if you're using stream elements. In chatbot, you're simply going to do exclamation mark and the sound bite that you've set up. And you'll know what the sound bite is by what it's called here. And in case you're unsure, you can also see them in the command. So um, in the commands in general, you'll see the actual command, the exclamation mark, and the word. You'll see who has permission to use it and what the response is. So these little symbols mean that it's a sound bite. So that's it. Exclamation mark, milk. They'd put that in chat and it would play a sound bite. In stream elements, it's a little bit longer because you're using the actual store, but it's going to be exclamation mark redeem. And then the next part is where you would put the title for that sound. So instead of just exclamation mark milk, it would be exclamation mark redeem milk. And that's it. And this format is going to stay true for any of the sounds. So whether it's milk, whether it's crickets, whether it's whatever sound bite you're wanting to do, this is the way that they would type it in and it will activate the sound bite. And really, it's as simple as that. Setting up sound bites isn't so bad. It just seems a little tricky, but it really adds a lot to your stream, and it gives another incentive for subbing or for keeping people interactive, and it really just spruces up your stream and makes you look a little bit more professional and like you've put in more work into your stream. <laughs> Thank you.